Hello, welcome to Python for Academics. In this video, we're going to expand the readme.md file that documents the code that we have available in a given directory. We're going to learn how to extract the header and a short description from a Jupyter notebook and write that into the readme.md file. So the new readme.md file that we'll obtain in this exercise will look like this. You can see that we not only have the links uh, to the Jupyter Notebooks, but we also have got this header, and then we also have got uh, this short description uh, that tells us what this particular Jupyter Notebook is doing. So for us to be able to extract that information from a Jupyter Notebook, uh, all the notebooks have to be formatted uh, using the same pattern. So the uh, header has to be stored in the first cell in the Jupyter Notebook. And then in the second cell of the notebook, we have this uh, little description. So all of my notebooks that I have in that directory are already formatted in that way. And in this exercise, we're going to uh, build upon the code that we wrote in the previous video. So I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these cells and paste them here. And we're going to import a, another Python library, which is called NB format. This library will allow us to import a Jupyter notebook and extract some information from that notebook. Uh, so I will run all of these five cells as they are. They will not change in this exercise. And now I will show you how a Jupyter Notebook can be read uh, using this uh, NB format library. So let's say that we would like to read the contents of this <clears throat> particular Jupyter Notebook that is called process files. So we can, uh, we can write NB format uh, read <clears throat> and then specify the path uh, to that Jupyter notebook. So it's called process files. And then we also have to specify to the read function what is the uh, version of the Jupyter notebook. Um, in this case, we're going to use version 4 notebooks. And I'm going to set this equal to some variable <clears throat> called notebook. So now if I show you what's inside of that variable notebook, you can see that it's formatted as kind of a nested uh, dictionaries. Uh, we're going to be particularly interested in the key cells, which stores all of the cells uh, in that particular notebook. And we can access that. Uh, by that key cells. And now if I, for example, access the first cell in the Jupyter Notebook, uh, then it returns a dictionary with four keys. So we have cell type, ID, metadata, and source. And we're going to be particularly interested in the source key because that's uh, where the content of that cell is stored. So we're going to access uh, the source of that first cell. And now you can see that I get a string that <clears throat> contains that header uh, and some other information. You can see that every row in that first cell is separated by two new line characters. And we're not going to be interested in the second and the third uh, row in that uh, cell. So what we can do is to split that string using two new line characters. So this will uh, create a split of that string every time it encounters the two new line characters. If I go ahead and run that code, <clears throat> then you can see that I get a list of three elements. And the first element contains the header, so we're going to access that first element. And uh, this is basically what we would like to access from that first cell. So now we can go ahead into our for loop that loops over all of the Jupyter notebooks that we have available in a given directory. And first of all, we can uh, read each Jupyter notebook. So I'm just going to have to update the 
file name every time and this loop encounters a Jupyter notebook, and now we're going to uh, write into a Jupyter into the readme.md file. We're going to write first that header. So I'm going to copy that code, and we're going to add uh, two new line characters at the end, just so that we have this nicely formatted, and also because that header. Uh, begins with a single hash symbol uh, so that creates the main header. Uh, I'm going to add two extra of these hash symbols uh, just so that the header for the Jupyter Notebook is not as big as the main header of the readme file. <clears throat> so now the second thing that we have to write into uh, that uh, readme.md file from the Jupyter Notebook is going to be the content of the second uh, cell, which uh, stores that description of the Jupyter Notebook. So we can access that uh, second cell in a very similar uh, way. So uh, we can now uh, specify the index one, which uh, refers to the second cell in the notebook and access the source of that notebook. So we can copy this and uh, I can also add the two new line characters at the end, just to have it nicely formatted. And as you've noticed, uh, <clears throat> I also have got this uh, description formatted as a quotation. And we can go ahead and add uh, this quotation symbol in markdown uh, just to make it look nicer. And now I can run all of that code. It tells me that the readme.md file is generated in that location. So I can open that file and you can see that we've uh, obtained what we wanted to get. So now I can show you the preview of how this readme.md file would look like if I uploaded it on GitHub, for example. So we have got the headers the links and the short uh, description. So now the last thing that you can do is to update your uh, script that you can run every time you, you create a new Jupyter notebook in that location, and you can update it uh, with all of that new code that we wrote. Uh, so I'm going to import and format, and I'm going to update uh, this for loop So now uh, every time you have a new notebook that is formatted in this, in this way where uh, you have got the header and the, the description in the second cell, you can run that script and it will automatically generate a new readme.md file.